warrior king to immortal legend? This is the legacy of Leonidas, the man who redefined courage. The remarkable story of King Leonidas and his legendary 300 Spartan warriors in the year 540 BC, in a time when the world was painted in vibrant hues of blue skies and golden sunsets, a legendary figure took his first breath. This wasn't just any legend. It was Leonidas, a destined ruler with the mighty blood of Hercules flowing through his veins. Born in Sparta, where warriors were crafted like skilled artisans molding bronze in a fiery forge, from the earliest moments of his life, young Leonidas soaked in stories of courage and might. Days were spent under the unforgiving sun, training and shaping himself into a true Spartan. Nights were illuminated not just by stars, but by tales of his ancestor Hercules, the demigod of unparalleled strength. He trained like a wolf, hunted like a hawk, and dreamed like a king. Yet, these whispers of lineage and legendary blood were but distant echoes. To claim his crown, Leonidas had to conquer not just foes on the battlefield, but also the very essence of being a spark. Would he ascend to the challenge, or would the weight of expectations crash upon him like a falling spear? In the year 491 BC, something big happened in the time of ancient stories. There was this important guy named Darius I, or some folks called him Darius the Great, the boss of Persia, a huge kingdom. He wanted all the Greek city-states to say yeses to him and do what he said. Now, Sparta, ruled by Cleomenes at that time, didn't like this idea at all. They said no super strongly, causing a big problem in talking nicely to each other. It turned into a real mess when some Persian messengers came to Sparta with a message. Let's just say things didn't end well, and it got messy, like when you mix different colors and they don't look good together. Let's go back to the year 486 BC, a really important time in an old story. Xerxes took over as the king of Persia, following in his father's footsteps. Over in Sparta, Leonidas became the new leader, taking over from Cleomenes. Now, Exoraxes was eager to expand his kingdom, especially into Greece. This set the stage for a big event we now call the Battle of Thermopylae in 480 BC. Xerxes was making plans and things were getting ready for a major face-off. In Persia, Xerxes dreamed of conquering new lands, while in Sparta, Leonidas was busy being a strong leader. What they didn't know was that their paths were heading straight for a collision on the battlefield. The Battle of Thermopylae was about to happen, and it would leave a lasting mark in history. As we get closer to this big battle, remember that every move and decision made by Xerxes and Leonidas was leading them to this moment. The dreams of a Persian king and the determination of a Spartan leader were coming together, and the world was about to see something incredible that would be talked about for centuries. As the Persian army, led by Xerxes, approached, Sparta stood firm. Leonidas, with his hoplite warriors, was determined to defend their land. The clash between the disciplined Spartans and the vast Persian force was imminent. Picture this. The Spartan warriors, clad in bronze armor, forming a human wall with their shields interlocked, they were like an unyielding fortress, ready to face whatever came their way. But on the other side, Xerxes and his troops were a sea of soldiers, vast and seemingly unstoppable. The Battle of Thermopylae was not just a clash of armies. It was a collision of two worlds. The Spartans fought with unmatched bravery, each step echoing their commitment to protect their home. Xerxes, on the other hand, sought to fulfill his dreams of conquest, pushing forward with his mighty army. In the midst of this intense standoff, the destiny of Greece was in the balance. Every clash of sword against shield, every shout and battle cry echoed the struggle for dominance. The outcome of this epic clash would be felt far beyond the battlefield, leaving an enduring legacy for generations to come. So, the big fight at Thermopylae got intense. Xerxes started with a bunch of archers, shooting so many arrows that the sky looked like it was covered. But the Spartan warriors trained super well, stood strong, and didn't budge. Even when the fancy Persian troops the immortals came charging. The Spartans stayed tough. They tricked the Persians with clever moves, pretending to run away and causing them a lot of trouble. Then on the third day, things took a bad turn. A local guy, Ephialtes, showed the Persians a secret way to surround the Greeks. Leonidas, the Spartan leader, knew things were not looking good. Instead of running away, he and his Spartans chose to stay and protect the other Greek soldiers. In the final battle, 
the Greeks fought really hard. Leonidas, who was like a relative of Hercules, sadly got hit by a bunch of arrows and didn't make it. The Persians won and did something really disrespectful to his body. Even so, what Leonidas and his 300 Spartans did became a big inspiration for others had 40 years, and they brought Leonidas' bones back to Sparta for a proper burial. The Battle of Thermopylae became a symbol of Greeks standing up against tough odds. Leonidas, who didn't start out as a king or plan to sacrifice himself, became a legend because of the choices he made. Leonidas' story is like a loud echo that tells us how strong people can be when they stand up to unfair leaders. King Leonidas wasn't just born a king. He decided to be one, and that decision left a really big mark. I hope you enjoyed learning about history. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and share it. More cool stories from way back are coming, so stick around. See you in the next one.